Hi, I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to make a wedding anniversary card. So I hope that you like this video and that you learn something new. Click subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of future videos. So this is my brother's scan and cut. This is the older model, but I like it because I can set my own settings. So to start, we're going to hit the scan button. Then we're going to click direct cut. And then we're going to pick the machine so that when it saves the scan, it will save it directly to the machine. And then for the registration mode, I'm going to hit the toolbar and pick color since this is a color image. Then hit the OK button. Then hit that top button to load your mat and press down on your image with the spatula that came with the machine because that will give better adhesive to the mat. And then go ahead and hit that start button and it will load your image and scan your image directly to the machine. So now that your image is on the machine, you need to frame your image. So you're going to move the arrows around your image as close as you can get to it and then you will hit the OK button. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to recognize your image. And once it pops up, you always want to zoom in to make sure that you got a good outline of your image, that there isn't any gaps or anything that was missing. So as I scroll over and I look at my image, I can tell that I have a very good border around it. There is nothing missing. There's no gaps or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this and hit the OK button to go to the next screen. On the next screen, if you see the two circles right there, we're going to click on that and that would give you an outline if you wanted an outline of your image. So press plus if you want a white border and I want a kiss cut so I'm leaving that at zero. I'm going to hit OK to go to the next screen. You always want to check your settings before you cut. So we're going to leave the cut speed be at three. I'm going to change the cut pressure to zero. Draw speed is at three and draw pressure is at zero. And I'm cutting out cardstock. So on my blade, I'm going to change the depth to 4.5. After I had done this cut, I did need to readjust the blade depth to five. So you're going to go ahead and hit OK and then hit the cut button. And then you will press that green button that just lit up. So it does take the machine just a few seconds to cut out. And as I pull this off, I'm going to use the spatula to get underneath the people so they don't bend and I get a beautiful kiss cut. So now we're going to use Distress Oxide. This is worn lipstick and our sentiment today is coming from a recollection stamp set and we're going to use the love stamp set here. So I have a link to that on my blog. It goes directly to the stamp set on Michaels. It took me a while to find it so you might want to use my blog to find it. So we're going to go ahead and ink this up. This is the Tim Holtz stamping platform and I noticed as I was pressing down I had a cat hair on there so I wanted to take that off because it will leave a weird indentation if you do have a hair on your stamp. So I like the stamping platform because I can stamp more than once. And now we're going to work on the background and I'm using an ink blending brush that I found from Walmart. This was only $5 and I really like the results that I got with it. And I have not tried the more expensive ones because I really like the results from this one and I didn't see the need to go and spend more money. It does take more time to build up color than the foam ink pads. I did notice that as I was working on this. So I'm going to tape down the bottom with painter's tape. You want a light tape so that you can take it off without it ripping your cardstock. We're going to use Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer and we're going to lightly spray the card so that we get that oxidized effect. So you can see all the white showing through the pink. I just love the way that that looks. I'm going to gently take off the tape so I don't rip the card. And then because this is still wet and I want to work quicker, I'm going to dry that with my heat tool. 
So I have my Lego wedding couple on foam tape and we're going to line that up and press that down. And you can see the heart over top. I just made that with free images on Cricut Design Space and I wanted it to look like it was an actual Lego piece. So now I'm gonna glue everything down. I'm using art glitter glue and I'm using a scrap piece of paper to make that because I like doing that. So looking at the inside of the card, it says, I would walk across Legos for you. Happy anniversary. <laughs> and me and my husband just love Legos. So I hope that you like this card. Please click and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.